Hey there, welcome to Team Talk Tuesday. I'm Erin Persinger, the creator of the Hire Train Delegate Method. And every Tuesday, I come to you and bring you my best scaling growth team tricks and tips. So today we're going to talk about the business container that will get you to seven figures. Now you're probably like, whoa, Erin, I thought you were always the team girl. Why are you you're always talking about team? What's this deal about the business container, right? So here's the deal. You can have a team that is phenomenal, um, but if you don't have the business container to support that team, then they really won't be effective enough or it won't collapse time enough to help you move to the next level as quickly as you want. Um, so in our, um, in our program, we actually help you not only build this phenomenal team, but we also build the business container out to support the team. So we're gonna talk about a little bit today what that looks like, what type of business container you should have in your business and the different areas you can look at. Um, so a couple of things we're going to talk about is why you need a business container and symptoms that yours are broken, um, the types of business containers that we create pre and post hire, and as well as how your business container really can impact your growth going forward. Um, so first off, we're just going to, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what are the symptoms of not having that business container. How can you know if your business container is broken? Um, I get clients all the time and they come to me and they say, Erin, I hired this team member. She came so highly recommended, but she's not working out. For whatever reason, she's just not working for me like she works for anyone else. I'm getting ready to get rid of her. Everything around me is broken. <laughs> I am a horrible manager. I hear that over and over again. There are two things it takes to be a phenomenal manager, okay? A good human with a good business container. And that's that's the problem that most people have. People come to me because I like to think I only attract good humans, right? Because otherwise I'm not going to work with you. Um, so we have the good human part that we often are missing the business container part. So if you feel like you're the bottleneck, if you feel like you're spending more time managing your team than you actually are getting work done, if you feel like it'd be easier to do it yourself, those are symptoms of a broken business container often, okay? So when we um, bring in a new hire. You know, I'm all about creating phenomenal hires, mission-driven hires that are, or, are for your business. Um, those premier assistants that I get in a place right away so they take work off of your plate. So um, the business container is really split into two parts. There's a pre-hire part of the business container and a post-hire. Why is that, you might ask? Well, the problem it becomes with systems, processes, any of these things, people are telling you build, 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 build all these things. The problem is, is when you are at capacity and you are feel like you're slowly losing your mind and giving your all to your business, you do not have time to put a system in place. It doesn't matter how much you know this is going to help you on the long run. Systems are complicated beasts, right? They, the tech that surrounds the system anyway is a complicated beast, right? So... You don't have time to streamline your systems and your business containers like you should. Um, so we split those really into two parts. You do some pre-hire and you do some post-hire. Pre-hire, the systems that we would look at are your um, task delegation system, because that's very important when you bring on a new hire. You have to be able to effectively give them tasks or you're done right from the beginning, right? Um, so we would do the task delegation system. We do your training system with you. And that's where we create repeatable training processes that really you're going to use not only for this hire, but all your future hires. So that's another important thing to put into your business container early on. Um, and then the third thing we would do is um, the team communication system. So if you'll notice, all the pre-hire can business container systems are um, concerned just around the team. And it's really the bare minimum that we can get to get you that one or two core team members up and running as quickly as possible. So they pull some of that work off of you. You have breathing room. And then you sit back and you're like, ha. Huh. I do have systems because I guarantee you, you already have systems in your business. Now, they may be ineffective, they may be broken, or you may be too busy to realize they're there and you just need help pulling away from some of them, but I promise they're probably already there. So in those post-hire um, systems in your container, what we look at are things that all revolve around your client's journey, right? So we want to, we intensely 
study your client's journey. What does the client roadmap look like from the very first time that client hears your name until they're offboarded? What does that entire journey look like? All the way through marketing, all the way through sales, all the way through onboarding, all the way through client care. We look at each and every piece of that. Okay, so um, some post-hire systems we would look at is marketing. How are you doing your marketing? What is successful up to this point in your marketing? Because I guarantee you, if you're working with me, you're already successful at some point, at some level in your business, right? You already have that repeatable income coming in because you're ready to hire and expand. So um, what's working? What's not working? What are you wasting time on? So we look at all that and we create the system around that and we figure out how to delegate that out to your team. The second thing is the sales system. Maybe you have phenomenal leads coming in nonstop, but you just are so busy, you're losing leads, right? You're walking away, leaving money on the table. Like we all hate that idea, right? You hate the idea of like, oh my gosh, I didn't follow up with this lead today. And look, I know I've been there. Um, so I know exactly what it's like to feel like, oh my gosh, I'm leaving money on the table. So that's when you create the system that stops all that, that covers that up and make sure that you follow up with your sales leads, your, your leads are taken care of. So they've gone through marketing, they've gone through sales. And so now they're like, hey, guess what? Well, wouldn't I want to work with you? Because you're amazing, right? So they come into your world and you're like, it's time to onboard. So we want that onboarding has to be a super duper um, streamlined process. Why? Because this is the first paid interaction your client has with you. When they are onboarded into your world, the system and the team that onboards them has to be on point. This is their very first experience with you. So you get a, a good experience, right? You're starting level with your clients, right? They're level. They have no formed opinion of you either way. But whenever you onboard and the onboarding um, is kind of like a mess and it's just a crap show everywhere, then their experience with you goes down, right? So you're you're already making up deficit in your program. You're already having to back up and like cover that. So to bring them up, up to level um, experience and you want to provide a phenomenal experience, right? The second or the second part of client care is really the Client, how the client interacts in your world, how they move through your world, how your program is tailored to your clients. We want to provide the most exceptional client service that we could ever dream of, right? We want it to be above and beyond because what does good client service provide us? It provides us with client retention and referrals. Referrals are crazy, so much easier, so much easier to close than a cold lead, right? And referral, and I think one time I knew the number, it was like 60% easier to close than a cold lead or something like that. So you always want those referrals. And right here in your client onboarding and your client care systems, that's what all comes back to. That's where your money is, right? We're not gonna leave sales leads on the table. We are not gonna leave clients out in the cold. We're gonna provide the most valuable experience that they can be provided and you're going to do it in a way that it's automated and with the team covering the non-automated parts because what you want to do is so show up serve clients you've built the systems out you already have some form of a system now we just need to figure out how to streamline automate and hand that off delegate it out to our team so that's really what we do in the last in the actually the middle portion of my program is what we figure out how to build all the systems in your business container so that your clients walk away completely satisfied. You aren't spending hours upon hours making sure everyone is served. Your team is not frantic wondering what to do next. Everything works in a streamlined way. We have the processes, we have the analytics to back it up. Everything is covered so that your clients have the best experience and you're still living your life, right? Your business isn't swallowing you whole. You whole. So that's kind of the um, premises behind Hire, Train, and Delegate. What we do is help you hire an amazing team. We help you train them so they can work at the best of their ability. And then we help you delegate those tasks so you are no longer stuck in the day-to-day. -day. You're not the bottleneck anymore. You can reach revenue goals that are beyond your wildest dreams, without spending loads and loads of time. I have clients tell me consistently once a week, probably I get a follow-up message from a client saying, you're not going to believe what my team did. You're not going to believe the revenue we were able to make. You're not going to believe the amount of time that you've saved me that I can now focus on all these other areas of my business simply because 
you have this team, you have an amazing team, and you have the business container that supports them, right? And that's what you want for your business. So I ask you today, I want to ask you, which, where are you struggling? Is it your team? Is it working out? Is it the business containers broken? Maybe you don't know. If you don't know, you're in luck because we offer a free call that actually will dive in and see exactly where your business is broken and what you need. Sometimes it's very hard to see what you need. When you're caught in it, you get tunnel vision, right? You don't know what you need. Um, and that's where we meet clients. We meet you at the corner of Overwhelm and Stuck. And we are here to take, help you take off the work book a free call with us. We'll dive in deep and see exactly how we can help you. Thank you so much for, um, for joining me on this Team Talk Tuesday. Be sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.